Good afternoon, Woman of Truth here. Uh, some of you might know, uh, my chickens have been boycotting eggs. And for weeks, they haven't been laying eggs. Now, I know scientifically, it's because they have uh, fewer hours of daylight. And I think chickens need about 16 hours of daylight uh, in order to be to lay eggs. Well, last year they spoiled me because they laid eggs all winter long. I had 20 chickens at the beginning of the winter last year and I got 10 eggs a day at least. And there were days they gave me more and there were days they gave me about eight to nine. Well, I bought them a Christmas present. I bought one of these timer bulbs. So I'm going to put it on tonight and by the way, I got my first egg this morning, so they know I'm up to something. Uh, I let them out to free range last week because I'm not happy with their performance. And I started wondering, well, maybe something's stressing them out. So I went out there early this morning and I filled all the holes around their uh, run. They're like my little chicken kids. I love them to death. But my thinking was, let them free range, free range last week, get on their good side. And sure enough, I had an egg this morning. So mama is gonna give them another four hours or so of daylight uh, each day. I put it on four hours. So if I plug it in around six o'clock tonight or before it gets dark, and it'll automatically shut off at around 10 or 11, depending on when I uh, plug it in. So I'm going to put this in my heat lamp and I can't wait to see what kind of results we get out of this. Now I don't want to drop it because if I drop it, yeah, that would really be upsetting. <coughs> so I need to grab this light and we are going to unscrew the heat lamp that's in it and it's still good. So I don't want to break it either. Either. I need to go get the box it came in. Find that to protect it because it's a nice heat lamp for when ah when I get babies this spring. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. When I get babies this spring, I'll hatch them or I'll buy them hatched, and I'll need my heat lamp. I'm so excited. I don't know any woman that's ever loved her chickens as much as I love mine. I know it sounds crazy. I love my chickens. Morning, ladies, or good afternoon. I'm so happy one of you laid me an egg. I want to know what's going on. You just need more daylight. Well, your people mom is going to give you some more daylight. Now, this is a lesson in chicken keeping. I'm a newbie, I'm a novice. I'm about three years into keeping chickens. But I'm still a novice. But uh, when I first got them and winter came, I thought, oh man, I need to put a light out there. They need heat. Well, if you buy the right breeds for your uh, geographical location, your chickens up here on the East Coast in Delaware shouldn't need heat unless the temperature drops below freezing and stays that way for days or is significantly below freezing. And uh, so that's a misnomer. You should not put heat on your chickens. It will, it will do something. It will cause them not to lay eggs and it will stress them out because the light from that heat, chickens need dark time to sleep well. The other mistake you should not make with chickens is uh, tighten up their coop during the winter. Um, people think, well, if I cut down all the drafts, um, drafts, D-R-A-F-T-S, I'm talking. You let mama talk. I'll talk to you in a minute. If you cut down all the drafts, you're protecting your chickens. But the reality is, if you keep the coop buttoned up tight, then it's going to have more moisture in it. So even though it's cold outside, you want to keep the little window open at the top. And I actually have been keeping the door open so they can come outside on their own in the morning. They don't need me to go open up the door. And the only problem with that is if your chicken run is not secure, then an animal can easily get into a chicken run and then get into the coop. I hear ya. 
And the third thing with chickens is mama's got to think of that third thing and you cause me to forget. I'm not crazy folks. I do refer to myself as mama, but I know they're not. They're, I, it's just, I love them. They're my chicken children and I'm their chicken mom or their people mom. <clears throat> the third thing, oh yes. If you like a nice clean coop, Another misunderstanding of chickens is that they're dirty, is that they just, they're dirty. They're not. Um, they don't put too much poo in their chicken pen. As long as they have a place outside to poo, they're not going to put too much in the chicken pen, but they're gonna put some. So people think, you know, you should just constantly keep it cl clean and you should until the winter comes. Um, and I learned this on a video and it makes sense. And I, even though it goes against my grain, I practice it. In the winter for insulation, the best thing you can do is not clean out probably around November, December, whenever it gets cold in your area of the country. When it starts getting cold, quit cleaning out that chicken coop so often and just add uh, bedding on top of the poo and then you have a nice, nothing insulates like poop. <laughs> so you just throw clean bedding on top of that and that nice manure insulation will keep the chicken coop warm. So it goes against my grain this morning when I put this light in uh, to, to, to go against the urge. I, I have that constant urge to clean out their coop. So it's really gonna start getting cold soon. So I need to leave the poo there and just put stuff on top. So in six and a half minutes, I've given you a lesson on chicken keeping. And uh, I told you the other day, my chicken girls, my chicken kids were mad at me. And uh, so I let them free range and they're yelling at me now cause they think I'm gonna let them out. Do you wanna get out and play? Come on, let's let them out to play. Is that okay? While I clean, uh, while I put their lamp in, they're on a timer, let's go ahead and let them play. They're gonna be so happy with me. All right, ladies. Now you're on your own. Watch each other's chicken backs. <laughs> you know there are lots of eagles and fox. And stay out of my daggone mulch. Yeah, they're cute. They're not gonna listen to me when it comes to that. They're gonna race right for the mulch. I have the prettiest birds that I've ever seen. Just have gorgeous birds. So folks, I'm gonna go and hang this light. I'm gonna put it in that heat lamp and I'm gonna rig up the electricity. And at six o'clock, that plug goes into the wall. And uh, I'm probably gonna add some bedding on top of their poo. And uh, I'll turn the camera off for that task. Have a wonderful day, folks. God bless you. God bless America and get outdoors. Get yourself outdoors. It's wonderful. God bless you.